We are on a mission to learn about countries and cultures. On this channel, I research and share not only where a country is, its history and government, but also the people, products and ideas they've had to help shape the lives of people around the world. Today, we learn about Sweden. You'll be amazed at how much this Nordic country of 10 million people has shared with our global community. What did you find interesting? What did we miss? Please share your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Stop my Wake up, get up, stretch my legs. Sweden is in Scandinavia, a northern region of Europe that includes Norway, Finland, and Denmark. Slightly larger than the state of California, it is the fourth largest country that is completely in Europe. Sorry, Russia. If you're like me, the first thing that may come to mind when you think of Sweden is its natural beauty, with its miles of forest, northern lights, and its tendency to produce a lot of models. While all of that may be real, it doesn't reflect the lifestyle of most Swedes. In fact, 86% of all Swedes live in cities, not the countryside. Most Swedes live in the southern part of the country where temperatures are milder and they are more closely connected to the mainland Europe by the Oresund Bridge Tunnel, which can take Swedes to Denmark and is the longest combined road and rail bridge in Europe. The capital of Sweden is Stockholm, with 1.6 million people. Stockholm is the most populated city in Sweden and all of Scandinavia. On a per capita basis, Sweden is one of the world's most successful exporters of popular music. Many Swedish artists have enjoyed great success on the British and American charts and in other European-speaking countries. Bands such as ABBA, Ace of Bass, Roxette, and The Cardigans have made it high on the billboards. But Swedish influence on music doesn't end there. Many American musicians such as Taylor Swift and pretty much every member of the iconic band The Beach Boys are descended from ancestors who were from Sweden. Time to give a sales pitch. Would you like to buy quality furniture at a reasonable price? Then you should head to the nearest IKEA, a Swedish furniture company that has 455 stores in 58 countries around the world. Much of what you can buy from IKEA costs as little as half of the prices of their competitors, in part because they pack everything flat to save on storage and transportation costs. Of course, you may have to assemble it yourself. Sweden is home to Volvo, which as of 2019 is the 19th largest car manufacturer in the world. Have you ever taken a hard look at your package of food before diving in? It may have come from Sweden. Sweden is home to Tetra Pak, the largest food packaging company in the world. Sweden has also led the way in terms of making or keeping people healthy. Inventor Rune Elmquist made the first implantable pacemaker in 1958, with the first implanted by surgeon Ake Senning. It took time to perfect it, however, as the original patient needed 26 pacemakers over the rest of his life, giving him the amount of lives usually afforded to three cats. Nicorette was developed in the 1970s in Sweden. The chewing gum was the first Nicorette replacement product on the market and has helped many quit smoking. As we shared in our video about Denmark, Scandinavia was home to the Vikings from the 8th to the 11th century. It is believed that Swedish Vikings mainly traveled east and south through the Baltic Sea and the rivers of Finland, Estonia, Russia, and even as far as Baghdad, Iraq. Arab traveler Ibn Fadlin, whose writings were the inspiration for Michael Crichton's novel Eaters of the Dead, and the Antonio Banderas movie The Thirteenth Warrior, described the Vikings of Sweden as follows. I have never seen more perfect physical specimens, tall as date palms, blonde and ruddy, they wear neither tunics nor caftans, but the men wear a garment which covers one side of the body and leaves the hand free. Each man has an axe, a sword, and a knife and keeps each by him at all times. The swords are broad and grooved, of Frankish sort. New Sweden was a colony along the Delaware River in North America from 1638 to 1655 in the present day states of Delaware, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Fort Christina, which is in modern-day Wilmington, Delaware, was the first in Maine settlement. New Sweden was conquered by the Dutch in 1655 and incorporated into New Netherland, who in turn was taken over by the English eight years later. Despite not lasting very long, the colony of New Sweden did make a great contribution to the developing American colonies, the Log House. Originally a building style created by people in Finland, the log cabin became such a big symbol of the American frontier that most people believe it is an American structure. Perhaps the oldest surviving log house in the United States is the C.A. Northnagel Log House built around 1640 near Swedesboro, New Jersey. Stockholm Syndrome is a rare condition in which a person who was kidnapped or held hostage forms a bond with their captors. 
The term Stockholm Syndrome was first used by the media in 1973 when four hostages were taken during a bank robbery in Stockholm. The hostages surprisingly defended their captors after being released and would not agree to testify in court against them. Another fact that I found interesting in Swedish history include the Olympics being held in Stockholm in 1912. The star of the Olympics may have been Jim Thorpe, a man of Native American heritage who won both the pentathlon and the decathlon by a wide margin. The Associated Press named him the greatest athlete from the first 50 years of the 20th century. Though when you think of countries in neutrality, Switzerland usually comes to mind. But Sweden has been neutral the longest, having been at peace since 1814, one year longer than the Swiss. Carl Linnaeus, the father of modern taxonomy, was a Swedish botanist, zoologist, taxonomist, and physician who created binomial nomenclature, which is the modern system of naming organisms. On top of being known as the father of modern taxonomy, he is also one of the fathers of modern ecology. He is often on the lists of the most influential people in history. Alfred Nobel held 355 patents, the most important being dynamite. After the death of his brother, he was mistakenly identified as having died. And when he read his own obituary, he saw that he had been condemned for being the creator of dynamite and had been the cause of many deaths. To create a different legacy, he set aside his fortune and his will to fund the Nobel Prizes that are awarded each year in the areas of peace, physical science, literary works, chemistry, and medical science. With the money he left behind, the Nobel Prize became perhaps the greatest honor in the world. The five prizes each year were awarded to those who during the preceding year have conferred the greatest benefit to humankind. Four of the five prizes are awarded every year in Stockholm, Sweden. Swedish-born Felix Arvid Ulf Kjellberg, better known as PewDiePie, is the most famous YouTuber on the planet. His channel is the second most subscribed channel in the world with over 109 million subscribers. He is most known for his Let's Play videos and comedic shows. Iona Jinten is another famous YouTuber from Sweden. She is quickly gaining on 3 million subscribers and creates amazing visually stunning videos about living in rural northern Sweden. You should definitely check out her channel. Start it up. The smorgasbord comes from Sweden and is replicated in restaurants and family events worldwide. In short, it is a buffet meal of hot and cold hors d'oeuvres, salads, casserole dishes, meats, cheeses, and many other offerings. Traditionally a meal for a celebration, smorgasbord became internationally known at the 1939 New York's World's Fair when it was offered at the Swedish Pavilion's Three Crowns restaurant. Swedish meatballs are also known worldwide. They typically are smaller than many other meatballs and they are made with a 50-50 ratio of ground pork and ground beef. They are also spiced with allspice and nutmeg and are soaked in a gravy made up of butter, flour, heavy cream, Worcestershire sauce, and black pepper. Despite all of their wonderful culinary accomplishments, perhaps the most famous Swedish chef is the Swedish chef, a Muppet, known for his crazy cooking methods and his phrase, bort, bort, bort. Sweden is a parliamentary constitutional monarchy. Their king is Carl XVI Gustav, though his power is mostly ceremonial. The Swedish government is formed according to the law set out in the 1974 Instrument of Government. But much of its design can be traced to the Middle Ages when in the 12th century the Swedish Privy Council was formed. Their legislative body, the Riksdag, is housed in the Parliament House. The 349 members of the Riksdag are the decision-making body of Sweden. The Riksdag can be traced all the way back to 1435 in the form of the feudal Riksdag of the estates. Politics in Sweden are a bit different than in the United States in part because they don't follow a two-party system. Currently, there are eight parties represented in the Riksdag, with the Social Democratic Party having the most seats. Rosenbad in Stockholm acts as the seat of the Prime Minister. Stefan Löfven, leader of the Social Democrat Party, has served as Sweden's Prime Minister since 2014. The people of Sweden have high taxes, but they also have extensive welfare benefits. The US News & World Report ranked Sweden as the third best country in the world in terms of quality of life, despite the high taxes. How high are the taxes? Sweden has the second highest total tax revenue in the world behind Denmark, as a share of the country's income. As of 2012, total tax revenue was 44.2% and I promise we are not producing videos in order of who pays the most taxes. Due to a sliding tax scale, people making 1.5 times the average worker pays about 57% in taxes, the highest tax for anyone in the world. 
In part because of the high taxes, Sweden has one of the best income equality economies in the world, as rated by the Gini coefficient. Some of Sweden's biggest exports include automobiles, telecommunications, and pharmaceuticals. 1.2 million Swedish immigrants came to the United States between 1885 and 1915, and their descendants formed tight-knit communities, many in the American Midwest, and often intermarried with other Swedish Americans. In fact, in 1900, Chicago had the second largest city population of Swedes in the world behind Stockholm, Sweden. There are many organizations in the United States that preserve Swedish culture, such as the American Swedish Institute in Minneapolis. The Vasa Order of America District Lodges 19 and 20 in Sweden award a Swedish American of the Year every year. Today, there are 4.5 million Americans with Swedish ancestry, with the most being in Minnesota and California. As we mentioned in our episode about Denmark, the Minnesota football team is named in honor of the many people of Scandinavian descent living in Minnesota. Famous Americans with Swedish heritage include Greta Garbo, Emma Stone, Donnie and Mark Wahlberg, fashion designer Michael Kors, John Nordstrom, Swedish-born co-founder of the department store Nordstrom, Charles Rudolf Walgreen, founder of Walgreens Drugstores, astronaut Buzz Aldrin, and Charles Lindbergh, the first pilot to fly solo and non-stop across the Atlantic Ocean in 1927. In this section, I'd like to add facts about a country that are interesting to me that may not have made it into a previous section. One thing that I just can't leave out is the ice hotel in the village of Jokasjarvi. Please let me know if I said that right. The world's first ice hotel, it has been rebuilt each year. After its first opening in 1990, the hotel, including the chairs and beds, is constructed from snow and ice blocks taken from the nearby Torn River. Besides the bedrooms, there is a bar with glasses made of, you guessed it, ice. And if you are feeling the love, there is an ice chapel that is known to marry couples. For those who think Mickey Mouse is the king of Disney characters, you may get an argument from the people of Sweden. In Sweden, it is tradition to show the cartoon Donald Duck and his friends wish you a Merry Christmas on SVT1 at 3 o'clock as part of the channel's traditional Christmas Eve programming, and even includes a live host. In 2020, it was the most watched program in Sweden's history, in which almost half of the Swedish population tuned in. It leads to the question, why do Swedes like Donald Duck so much? Part of it is ritual, as it's been shown every Christmas Eve since 1959. Another reason is that while Mickey seems to have all the qualities of a hero, and always wins in the end, watching the duck bumble through episodes is more entertaining in Sweden. If you live or have lived in Sweden, please let me know more about the Donald Duck phenomenon in the comments. Sweden is a very important part of our global community and like many other countries is becoming more diverse. About 25% of the country's population comes from somewhere other than Sweden. People from around the world are moving to Sweden with the largest populations coming from Syria, Iraq, Finland, and Poland. Reducing, reusing, and recycling is a way of life in Sweden. In 1967, they were the first country in the world to establish an environmental protection agency. Swedish recycling is so efficient that they ran out of trash, which became a bit of a problem in itself because Sweden also uses alternatives that include incinerating garbage to make electricity instead of using fossil fuels like oil or coal and to heat 1.2 million homes. According to How Stuff Works, close to half of household trash is sent to one of the country's 33 waste to heat plants. Because of the need for at least some trash to create electricity, Sweden now imports trash from other countries to keep the incinerators running. Some major global technology companies are from Sweden. Ericsson does much more than sell telephones. They also offer services. Ericsson is also the sponsor of the Ericsson Globe, the largest hemispherical building on Earth. Shaped like a large white ball, it represents the sun in the Sweden solar system, the largest scale model of the solar system in the world. Spotify is a Swedish auto streaming and media services provider. Spotify offers digital copyright restricted recorded music and podcasts. Spotify is available in most of Europe and the Americas, Oceania, and parts of Africa and Asia. Every country and culture contributes to our global community. What did you learn and what did I miss? Please leave your ideas in the comments below. Thanks for watching.